Alright, hey there Proxians, this is Proxfight here, and guys, welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Renegade Platinum Let's Play, and if you guys missed out in the last episode, what happened here is, is that we went and finally made it to Salacion Town, guys, and we also got to go and meet up with another Elite Four member, which is known as Lucen, and it seems that he was basically going and, uh, kinda, uh, uncovering some things over with the unknowns and all that different sort of stuff, so that would seem, uh, a little bit interesting, and, uh, hopefully we get to go and meet up with Lucen once again. I don't know if we are gonna be challenged him in uh, Renegade Platinum or not, but it should be uh, exciting to uh, see that if it actually does happen. Um, but I'm also a little bit terrified in the process as well too, because if you guys remember during our last encounter with the Elite Four member, we got totally got ourselves blown back. I thought it was going to be somewhat of a straight, easy type of fight because we did actually have Luffy on our side, and I thought that if, if since we do have some fire type moves, we should be able to just kind of just do a nice clean sweep with Aaron. But unfortunately, that was just not the case, and we got totally uh, got ourselves destroyed but not to worry it wasn't actually like a, a full-on game over but it was just kind of unfortunately we just kind of lost out on getting the money uh from Aaron if we actually did want to go and complete that whole entire thing but it was okay but now guys uh, since we are going to be continuing throughout this episode here for today we are not done here in Salacion Town just yet because if you guys remember I think during I think maybe around the time of when I did I think the diamond randomizer or I think the pearl wedlock uh, we actually did go and head inside the lost tower which that is what I'm going to be doing here again for you guys uh, just because just for the sheer fact is that I need to do some grinding and uh, unfortunately uh, there's not a whole lot of trainers left here in Salacion town so the only trainers that are only there is only at the lost tower which that is going to be pretty nice because we actually do need all of our Pokemon all the way up to hopefully around 38 or 40 because that is where mainly these Pokemon I believe are actually around their max level at because I think I did look that up I think during the time of when I was telling you guys about the Fantina max level uh, so hopefully everything's gonna be fine with that I know that we do have uh, the proper Pokemon for the job because we do have like Esper we also do have Milo uh, for that type of situation if anything has to go on um, but we also do have like Shadow or Luffy or Polka for that matter to kind of do some backup type of, uh, of, of kind of helping out uh, if any of those Pokemon uh, do get injured or if they do faint. Um, but anyways, let's just go and do a little bit of a TV recap before we get ourselves all started. So let's go ahead and jump right into this, shall we? So let's get ourselves here with Luffy at level 34, holding out the Silk Scarf with Scratch, Mock Punch, Flame Wheel, and also Low Kick. We also do have Esper at level 37 with Morning Sun, Power Jump, Aura Spirit, and also Psychic. We also do have Shadow at level 37, holding out the Magnet still that has Crunch, Ice Fang, Thunder Wave, and also Thunder Fang. We also do have uh, Queen at level 33 with Bite, Water Pulse, Toxic Spice, and also uh, Poison Jab. We also do have Milo at level 34 with Psychic, Reflect, Hypnosis, and also Air Slash with the Quick Claw. We also do have Polka at level 33 with Moon Blast, Nasty Plot, Double Edge, and also Draining Kiss, also holding out the Amulet Coin. So that is basically everybody on the squad. And uh, without further ado, guys, let's go ahead right on inside the Lost Tower. Now, also, too, while this is just going to be kind of a, a nice, uh, like, kind of chilling type of episode, nothing really too exciting that's going to be going on. On. I actually did uh, finish off with the prox lock type of rules that have been happening uh, for our brand new series uh, for that Nuzlocke that is going to be happening out here and uh, I think uh, it's a good time to actually tell you guys about what the rules are for the prox lock because I actually do have it in the actual note right here uh, for this type of stuff and we actually got ourselves a dust skull which that's pretty nice but I'm not going to really worry about having a dust skull on the team I kind of like having our Pokemon right now as the way it is uh, I may probably come back here if I ever do need a dust skull but it's pretty nice to that they do have that here in this spot right now okay so let's go ahead and inside here i think we should put on some repels just in case i think we still have a little bit of repels left so let me just make sure that we still have some repels because if not then we're kind of screwed okay here we go yep we got some oh thank god because I don't want to be running in here and just trying to have to like freaking fight my fight my way throughout all these freaking annoying Pokemon that are just gonna be jumping at us. But uh, here are the basically uh, here's the rules for the Pokemon Y Prox Lock that is gonna be happening uh, for our channel. So we actually got number one, which that is just gonna be just the play normal type of Nuzlocke rule. So really nothing of the sort is really gonna be uh, happening out there for that. Um, but also, too, I am going to be having a spinning wheel of displeasure, and that is the brand new name that I'm going to be giving 
uh, for the uh, four hour spinning wheel. Uh, so basically there is five different options that are going to be happening here for the spinning wheel of displeasure, which I do not really like all five of these things that I created because I thought about this last night and uh, I think this is going to be pretty much uh, somewhat of a very scary thing that is going to be literally happening for our prop slot. So number one is literally, uh, so, so, so this one is actually somewhat pretty nice. So we are allowed to return a Pokemon from the PC box if any of our Pokemon does die. So that is somewhat of a nice beneficial type of thing, but we are going to go into the four annoying type of columns that is going to be happening for the spinning wheel of displeasure. So we also got one that says cannot use healing items uh, during uh, um, during an actual gym fight, I think, uh, because uh, what, what I'm going to be uh, literally doing is, is that any type of rival fight or any type of like gym trainer, uh, or, or well not gym trainer, but gym leader that we literally fight, um, what's going to happen is, is that once I actually do spin the uh, wheel of displeasure and if we do land on this, we cannot use any healing items. Uh, uh, except for only berries uh, during the time of I think the uh, for whatever our next gym is going to be which that does really suck um, but I will try and kind of brush things off a little bit more uh, but this is just kind of a, a of a rough draft of how I want to get this prox loss kind of started um, we also do have a remove uh, a, a remove a move so technically what's gonna happen is is that when we actually go and fight again a rival or any type of uh, gym leader that's gonna happen if we do land on this we have to go to a move deleter which I believe it's only located I think at dead mill town so this one is not really gonna be any type of uh, problem until once we start heading into actual dead mill town because I believe that is where it's actually located at but once this thing actually does get activated um Basically, what's going to happen is, is that we have to go to the move deleter, remove out the move that is literally on that Pokemon, which which I have to choose at random, which that's going to literally suck. Um, and then, um, basically, what's going to happen is then, uh, I think right after that, I think we can put the move back on, but I'm not too entirely certain on how that's going to work. So, again, I still have to kind of brush things off a little bit uh, to make sure that everything kind of feels more uh, much better than, than what this is right now. And then also too, uh, for the last one, is that we have to go solo mode uh, for uh, for the next uh, gym leader uh, or, or, or the next gym uh, that happens afterwards. Uh, so that is going to be uh, somewhat crazy. So basically going solo mode is that uh, we have to go and use uh, any type of Pokemon that we have in our party and only choose the one Pokemon that, that I can only go ahead and use and that's it. Uh, I can't go and basically choose out any other uh, thing afterwards. Now Swagger. I do like Swagger but it also boosts up the Pokemon attack which that is also somewhat of a problem and I know in probably in a Dreano game is... Uh, is that I'm thinking Swagger is not going to be all that too great because I'm pretty certain that there's going to be a Pokemon that's going to be breaking out Swagger and uh, it's just not going to be fun at all and, and you're just going to have a Pokemon that's just going to have boosted attack out here and that is not going to be fun so I'm going to run away from that oh hold on we actually got ourselves an item so oh wow nice we got ourselves an oval stone eh well I don't really have like a half penny or any of, of that type of stuff but at least we have it but yeah, so that's basically all the uh, all the rules uh, for uh, for the prox lock. Now, also too, uh, I will be bringing back uh, token Pokemon as well. So uh, whenever we do get ourselves the uh, uh, whatever the uh, Tyrantrum uh, fossil is going to be, or the uh, Aurorus uh, type of fossil that's going to be, we can use those as our uh, fossil uh, type of uh, Pokemon as well, or even uh, throughout any of the field items. So if we ever do find like a different type of fossil, we will probably pick that up. Uh, and add that uh, to our uh, our token Pokemon as well. Unless if the token Pokemon is actually somewhat pretty decent, like like if we get ourselves like a Raikou or something, I'm not gonna like actually just kind of throw away the token Pokemon and, and do that, but I will keep it. it, it it's like something really cool. Ouch, flamethrower. Okay, well that's a little bit scary. Let me just go fast forward through that. Jeez. But yeah, so uh, hopefully you guys do kind of like uh, the rules that are for the prox lock. I'm actually going to be kind of pissed off every time that we actually do spit out the wheel of, uh, of displeasure. <laughs> but can I evolve a Pokemon throughout the gym? Now that is going to be somewhat of a pretty big problem because like... Oh man. 
that is going to be an issue because like most of the gyms that are in generation six are somewhat relatively hard like I, I think the first gym's not all that too bad but then i think like like later on it starts getting progressively a little bit difficult so if so if we ever keep on landing on that same exact type of thing that happens uh that's gonna be a problem <laughs> Right. But going solo mode, I don't really mind all that too much because, like, I, I kind of like doing uh, solo mode type of challenges throughout gyms, so it doesn't really matter all that too much to me. Uh, now, I'm pretty certain I think Skitty is also, I think... Isn't Skitty, like, also part fairy here as well, too, I think, in uh, Generation 6? But I could be wrong. I think it's... I think we could just set up for a Moss Punch, I think, uh... Yeah, so Skitty can still go down. Okay, nice. Oh no, a citrus berry. And also has charm. Get out of here, you. I don't want to be charmed to death. We should have a Bosley coming out, so we know what to do. We got ourselves a queen out here. And as I, what I know from a Bosley is that I believe that they are also uh, ground typing out here, and not grass typing. From what I know in the Pokemon anime, or well, for the pseudo Wudo, I should say. Well, not the Bosley. But my star has deepened. Nice. Got some extra money. And we also got ourselves a double battle. Let's go ahead and take care of these guys as well. We need any type of grinding as possible. Because we need to get ourselves all the way up to 38 or 40, please. Or just get up Luffy up to level 35. That could be also relatively nice. Uh, Flamethrower, we're going to set that up. We also got ourselves... Ooh, I think we could actually set up for a power gem. And I think that could also be super effective on Ponyta. I could be wrong. Okay, yep, yeah, so it does work. Nice. Good job. Esper is now at level 38. Jeez. I think we should probably calm down uh, with the uh, with the EXP share on Esper and probably give that over to somebody else now. But Esper is doing relatively well. I do like the moves that uh, Espeon actually do have. Like, I love Aura Spear. I love Psychic. Really good type of moves out here. And also Power Gem. Nice, so TF61 will o -Wisp. nice. Now we got ourselves 99 of those type of items now. And we also can't forget that we actually do have another double battle. Let me just go and remove this. Wow, Shadow is also at level 38. Esper is at level 38. Uh, let me go and give this item to you. There. All good. We'll go and switch up with Poka around, because I know that we have to go and try to do some leveling up with Poka, because we need Poka to. Well, I, I, I'm pretty certain. I think now, uh, since since we actually do have a Togekiss, I don't think we ever get any other type of moves afterwards. But I, I but I'm also pretty certain that uh, I think Double Edge. I think is like technically. I think the last move for Poka. I could be wrong, but let's see what we got. We got Flamethrower. We could probably just set that up. We also do have Moonblast. We could probably probably just do a double kill out here. Ouch! Okay, that wasn't very nice. Freaking Murkrow with Drill Peck. Well, let me just go with Thunderfang you now. And also Moonblast you in the face. Take care of that with the Murkrow. And we are good. Nice. Well, god damn it. Now I have to go literally all the way back down to the ground now. I literally just made it all the way up to like the freaking like... What was this? Like, this is like the second floor or so that we made all the way up here. Oh man, all that just for nothing. No, 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 no. Okay. Oh, I actually did fight you. Okay, we're all good. Now, I do actually need to go and uh, pick up that item that's over where that uh, biker guy is. Yeah, we made it all the way up, I think, to like the third floor already, so that was crazy. And unfortunately, we did lose out on a Pokemon. Huh. Now, I don't know if this place actually has out any super repels. I wouldn't mind picking up on some of those if they actually do have any. Let me see. What do you guys have? Wow, 83,000 freaking dollars. That's insane. Yep, we actually do have super repels now. Awesome. Let me go and buy out 10 of those, please. Uh, let me see here. I think we're okay now. I was going to be thinking about just probably like selling out my normal repels, but I think I just want to probably keep those uh, just in handy if we ever do run out of uh, super repels on us. 
But the good thing is, is that we finally have defog. So once we actually start heading on over to uh, the route just before heading into Celestia Town, we should be somewhat okay for that whole entire area. And we don't have to worry about trying to miss out on any type of moves or any of the sort like that. Because that would be a pain in the ass. <laughs> Okay, all good and ready and set to rock and roll. We could probably go and talk to this guy because uh, I think he also gives us a. Oh, I thought he gives us um, like an app or something, but I guess not. Not in here in this one. Never mind. Maybe we already have like all the apps already uh, in store for our Poketch. I don't think I ever checked that out. Okay, well, let's just go keep on heading up from here. No. Ah. Fine. I thought I could do it without having a repel on, but I guess that's not going to be the case. Here, we'll put one super repel on, and that can last us for quite a while. Because I think we're pretty much almost done here in the Lost Tower, as it is. Let me just go and see what this item is here. Can I just go and pick that up? Aw. Can't even pick that item up at all, either. Hmm. I wonder how you're supposed to grab it. Because, like, it seems like everything is, like, just blocked around where that item is. Oh, wow, okay, we're actually finished. Wow, this was actually a pretty quick type of episode. So, hello, child, have you heard of the legendary beast of Joso? They said to be embodied by the speed of lightning, a passion of magma, and the compassion of water. The Guardian of the Sky resurrected them after a great fire raised the brass tower in Ecartique City. You know that there's a legendary artifact that's known as the Rainbow Wing? It's said to be a sparkling rainbow feather for the Guardian itself. I imagine that the Sky Guardian would be quite attracted to that item. Ah, uh, interesting. So let me make your journey out of this and a place less frightening. So take this. A cleanse tag. Awesome. Thank you. So the Lost Tower is where the spirits have departed uh, Pokemon are put to rest. And uh, those that enjoy long lives, those whose times were short, all the departed Pokemon shall find their solace here. Interesting. So we got ourselves the cleanse tag now. Let me just see what that is all about here. So I have to be held by a Pokemon that keeps the Pokemon, uh, or that held that keeps po uh, keep wild Pokemon away if the holder is the first Poke uh, first one in the party. So nice, it's kind of like a like a instant like uh, like Max Repel, I guess. Hmm, I don't think I've ever really used a close Tangle that too much. That seems interesting. Oh wait, hold on, I think I can grab the item. It's just that, like, it was kind of a hard thing to see, but if you saw, there was, like, that biker guy, and there's kind of a little bit of a side path that's there, and I think I could probably kind of squeeze on by. Okay, goodbye, Plusle. Give me some of your EXP, and also mine in two. See you later. Oh, come on. Do it again. No. Leave me alone with your freaking citrus berries. Hey, how did this guy have a freaking sewer repels? What? Discharge. Hmm. Not very nice. Here, take an ore spear. And a Parsi Risu. Uh, Psychic. There we go. That takes care of it. Nice. Okay, let me see. Grab this item from down below. Yes, finally, revives are here. Thank God. Okay. I thought for certain that we were never going to be able to see a revive here in a Dreano game, but yes. They are finally here. Thank God. Now, hopefully, we can find some revives over at Belstow City Department. Because that would be something interesting that I would like to pick up. Oh, well, hello. Welcome to the Lost Tower. Are you interested in hearing about the ghost-type Pokemon? Did you know that there's an old folk that tells uh, of, an, uh, of a nefarious ghost-type? Uh, a Pokemon that was somehow able to travel across time? He was infamous for his deeds, but he was secretly cunning and dangerous. That's said to be another uh, universe, but ghost-types do sound scary, huh? Anyways, this is the class that's said to be a, a, a memoir of the nefarious Pokemon. And if that's the case, it's certainly here. A mystery, uh, a mystery somehow uh, it got here. But thanks for listening, and I make you a gift. Uh, thank you, the Reaper Claw. That's for Dust uh, or for Dust Clops. Interesting. I don't know if I want to probably have it just... Yeah, I think I already said that already, but... I wouldn't mind having a dust war on the team if that was actually the case, but still, I kind of like the team that we already have. It's been pretty fun so far. Even though that we have been getting blown back, like, a little bit, but... It's okay. Because I may probably... Because, like, I want to keep this team uh, for me lean. Because, like, majority of our Pokemon can actually uh, go and hopefully knock her out relatively fast. There we go. So get everybody all healed up. 
I think we'll probably just go and take care of a little bit of some battles uh, in our up and coming route that's going to be here. Uh, but we're not going to go and just head through everything that's going to be in this spot. But let's see what we got. I think there is, I think, a double battle up here, which I would like to go and do before we... Uh... Yeah, it's right down here. So we'll just take care of this double battle and then we'll just end this off here for good for this episode. Okay, here we go. No tank and also a Tauros. How exciting. Um, let me just go and mock punch you. Moon blast you. Really? That is one bulky milk tank. Jeez. Okay, well at least you're not using milk drink, thank god. There you go, you're gone. 34 for queen. Nice. Oh my god. That is a little bit terrifying. Okay, we need to heal up as quickly as possible. That is not good. Yep. There we go. Mop punch of the Taurus is gone. Thank God. Nice. Wow, that was actually somewhat relatively scary. Those guys were, were pretty bulky. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I, oh, come on. I didn't want to have to go about you. Now you're going to have like six freaking Pokemon on your team. Okay, never mind. All good. Okay, Shadow, do your thing. It's just only a Mantike. Whoa, it's going to be... There we go. Knocked out you. That Penny, that should be somewhat okay. I don't know if that Penny's part fairy here. Oh, no, I'm confused. Damn it. Okay, so you're still good. So still a normal type. Ooh, close combat. Here we go. We can finally get this move. Nice. Sweet. We got ourselves close combat, and I think it's going to be... Finally time. Ooh, here we go. Why not? Now, we were doing a Nuzlocke. This would probably be relatively scary. But we have Crunch. Here we go. See you later. Why not? No more countering or any other type of sort of that from you. Oh, what? Of course, I thought we were going to be probably getting ourselves up to an Inferni, but that's not going to even happen. But at least we got ourselves close combat. That's pretty cool. Uh, so anyways, I'm going to end off this episode here for today, guys. So in the next one, we are going to probably head into this place, probably grab some Moo Moo Milk and all that type of stuff, and then we'll start heading on over to this side and actually do some battles over there as well. I'm going to probably do some off-record battling around this area, just kind of get the rest of these other trainers like kind of finished and done with here. And then we don't have to worry about having to, uh, to take them on or any other sort like that. Uh, but yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next one when we start uh, making almost to our way to where... Uh, uh, Bill Stone City is going to be. So I'll see you guys then, and peace.